For me, this series has been a bit of a trip down memory lane as my parenting days are done. I could feel really bad about all the things I didn't do right, and believe me, that list is long. Instead, I choose to see God's faithfulness in my mother. As a little girl, my dream was to be a mom. I played house for endless hours, and as I grew up and eventually got married, I held on to that dream. But pregnancy did not come easy, and I began to wonder if maybe my dream was not God's plan for me. But God is good, and His plans for me are good. There were many, many months of waiting and wondering, and in His grace, God blessed us with not only one, but three children. I think because getting pregnant did not come easy the first time, it was more significant to me that these children were blessings from God and an answer to prayer. And because of that, I always tried to hold them with open hands, trusting God's plan for them. Not easy, but I believe it's what God asks of me and of you. God wants to partner with us in raising our children. We know our kids best, but God knows them even better. So trusting Him in how we raise our kids will only bring them closer to their full potential. I didn't do it perfectly. There were many times of doubt, worry, and panic as our kids grew up. And as much as I sought to honor God with my parenting, I fell short of the mark so often and needed to apologize to my kids. Motherhood is indeed sanctified. And let it be. There's a lot of humility to be learned when you become a parent. Embrace it. Asking and allowing God's help will allow you to become a better parent, which will help your kids become the best they can be. Our kids are all grown and married and have kids of their own, the joy of my life. And I'm continuing to trust God's plan for this next generation of grandkids.